Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2018 Dodge Ram with a 3.0 liter. The complaint on this vehicle is the check engine light is on and there are other lights that are on on the dash. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to confirm the customer's complaint. After confirming the customer's complaint, we're going to connect the scan tool to the vehicle to see what kind of trouble codes we have in the engine computer. So now let's go inside the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint. Alright, so I'm going to start the engine so we can confirm the customer's complaint. So let's push this button here. So right there, as you can hear, the engine is running. So the check engine light remained on. So customer's complaint confirmed. So right there, check engine light remained on and there are other messages on the dash right now. So there is this message over here. I also noticed that the throttle body light is flashing and there's a message that says exhaust filter 90% full, service required seat dealer. Okay, so it looks like the DPF is almost full so it's full up to 90 percent okay so this is the message that the customer was talking about he talked about the check engine light that came on and this message over here okay so right off the bat i have an idea of what's going on with this vehicle it looks like the suit level inside the dpf is becoming excessive so we're gonna have to do a regeneration we're gonna have to enable the active regeneration with the scan tool so we can burn all the soot that's inside the DPF okay and I'm pretty sure that soot content inside the DPF is causing a little bit of a restriction in the exhaust stream which is causing this light over here to flash okay so and I'm pretty sure once we do the regeneration this should be fixed so now i'm going to turn off the engine so let's turn the key on so the key is on i'm gonna get the scan tool connected and then i'll bring you guys back up all right so i got the scan tool connected to the vehicle let's scan this so let's give it a couple seconds here until the scan tool finishes scanning all the modules so let's wait all right so the scan tool is done scanning all the modules on the vehicle so right over here we have three trouble codes in the engine computer the first trouble code is p24 a4-00 and it says particulate filter restriction suit accumulation too high bank one pending stored and then the other trouble code is p2002-00 diesel particulate filter efficiency below threshold and then the third one is p2280-00 airflow restricted so what's causing the check engine light to remain on is this and this trouble code, this P24A4, is what's also causing this message over here on the dash. Okay? This message that says exhaust... Oh, where did it just go? The message that says exhaust full. Okay? This message right over here. The one that says exhaust full. I mean exhaust filter 90% full. Oops, hold on. The message is going to be displayed there again. Yeah, so this message here, exhaust filter 90% full, service required, okay? So the suit level inside the DPF is too high. So I don't think the owner of this vehicle drives this truck that much. I don't know if it does a lot of highway driving. This is pretty common on diesel vehicles that have DPFs and do not get driven a lot because if you don't do highway driving, the vehicle is now going to have an opportunity to do the 
regeneration by itself because when you drive a diesel truck that has a DPF on highway, it enables the regeneration by itself to clean all the soot that accumulates in the DPF. But if you don't do highway driving, you just do city driving, like stop and go and you don't drive it that much, the soot level is going to accumulate prematurely inside the DPF, which will cause these trouble codes to come up. And if the customer didn't bring this truck to us, eventually it was going to stop. It was going to start losing power and he was going to have all kinds of problems. Now, what we have to do here is we have to do a regeneration to fix this. Hopefully the suit in the DPF is going to get burnt. But if it doesn't, the DPF is going to have to get removed and sent out so it can get cleaned. Okay, so basically this over here is causing this. And then this over here is also causing this airflow restriction code. And this is what's causing the throttle body light to flush. Because at this point, the engine is not exhaling properly. Okay, and as the engine doesn't exhale properly, it's also going to compromise the way the engine inhales. It's like being choked, okay? If someone chokes you up, you won't be able to breathe, right? So that's what's happening. If the engine is not exhaling, so if all the exhaust gases are not getting out freely out of the tailpipe, the engine will not be able to inhale properly. So it's not going to be able to uh, suck in the air in, in the cylinders properly because the air, the exhaust gas that's been burnt is not coming out freely on the exhaust stream because as the exhaust gases travel down the exhaust stream and they find the restriction in the DPF so they're just going to get stuck there and then it's going to create some back pressure which will force those exhaust gases back up to the engine okay and that's going to cause the throttle body light to flush because the computer will think that the throttle is not opening all the way to allow a lot of air inside the cylinders, okay? So what we need to do now with all these trouble codes in memory, I don't think the computer will be able to enable the regeneration process. We're going to have to erase these codes and then uh, do the regeneration process, okay? So... I'm gonna focus on this trouble code. We're gonna ignore these ones. I'm pretty sure these are just caused by this one, okay? So we're gonna do a regeneration process to burn all this suit that's inside the DPF. So now let's scroll and see the other codes that are in the other modules. So it looks like these modules, some other modules have trouble codes in them. Okay, so we're good to go. What I'm going to do is we're going to back out and go to the engine computer. We're going to clear the codes. All right, so we cleared the codes. So now we're going to drive the vehicle outside the shop so we can start the regeneration process. So let's drive this outside. Because we want to do that while the truck is sitting outside. We don't want to do it while it's here because we don't want the exhaust gases to pollute the shop So we're going to enable the regeneration process. So let's go to 
functional test. Actually not here, let's back out. Let's go to system test. So right over here, service diesel particulate filter regeneration. So we're gonna click on that. So we're gonna hit continue. I think the engine has to be at operating temperature. So I don't know if the engine is hot enough, but let's try to enable it and see what happens. So right there, coolant temperature must be greater than 70% degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. So the engine is not hot. So we're gonna let the engine idle a little longer so it can reach operating temperature and then we will enable the regeneration process. So I'm gonna let the vehicle idle and then I'll bring you guys back up once the engine reaches operating temperature. All right guys, so I'm back in the car. I think the vehicle has reached operating temperature. So let's go to data and look at the engine temperature. I mean, it's been idling for quite a while now, so I'm pretty sure the engine has reached operating temperature. So let's scroll down. So engine temperature, so right there, engine coolant temperature, 197.16, so that's good. We should be able to enable our regeneration process right now. So let's go to system test, right there, service diesel particulate filter regeneration. So the RPM is going to increase. So right there, the RPM is increased. So the regeneration process is taking place right now. Okay, so what does it say? So it says regeneration has been activated. Engine RPM will be increased during regeneration. When engine RPM returns to normal, Regeneration is complete. When regeneration is complete, routine will continue. Exiting the routine prior to regeneration completing will cancel the regeneration. So at this point, we're gonna let the uh, scan tool do its thing. The engine RPM is increased. We're gonna wait until the engine RPM comes down and then we're gonna let it idle for a couple more minutes. And then we're gonna scan it again to see if our trouble codes won't come back. And then we're gonna take it for a test drive and see what happens. So right now we're gonna let the scan tool finish doing its magic. When the scan tool is done doing the regeneration process, we're gonna drive the vehicle to see if the light will come back. After driving the vehicle, we're gonna rescan it to see if the trouble codes will be back. If the trouble codes don't come back up, then we will know that this is fixed. And I'm pretty sure the trouble codes will not come back because it just needs a regeneration, okay? So I have the vehicle parked in an open space because when you're doing this procedure, you have to make sure that the vehicle is parked in an open space because you don't want any flammable stuff around the vehicle because when the regeneration process is taking place, the exhaust stream gets really hot and anything that's flammable around the vehicle can catch on fire. And you also don't want people walking behind the vehicle while the regeneration process is taking place. Okay, so I'm gonna let the scan tool do its thing and then I'll bring you guys back up once the scan tool is done doing the regeneration. Alright, so the regeneration process is taking place. So right here. Oh man, it smells bad back here. This suit stinks. So we're gonna let the regeneration process finish and then I'll bring you guys back up once the scan tool is done. 
All right, guys, so the engine idle came down. The regeneration process is finished. As you can see, it says forced regeneration successful. So we're good. So let's exit out of here. So let's look at the screen. So as you can see, the check engine light is off. There are no messages on the dash. And the throttle light that was flashing over here is no longer flashing. So we're good. So now we're gonna scan it before we take the vehicle for a test drive. Let's back out of here. Let's go to codes. So right there, we don't have any trouble codes in memory right now. So that's good. Okay, so let's take this vehicle for a spin. All right, so we are on the road, we are driving. The vehicle drives well. No lights on on the dash, so that's good. So, so far, so good. Now, I don't have to go really far. I'm gonna turn around and drive back to the shop. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'll bring you guys back up once I get to the shop. We're gonna rescan it. And if there are no trouble codes, we're gonna wrap up this video and give the vehicle back to the customer. So right there, there are no lights on the dash. So we're good to go. So I will drive back to the shop and then I'll bring you guys back up once I get to the shop. All right guys, so we are back at the shop. The vehicle drives well. As you can see, the check engine light is still off. There are no messages on the dash, so that's good. So I'm gonna bring up our scan tool. Let's scan this to see if there are any trouble codes that came back. So right there, no trouble codes in memory. So we're good to go. Okay, so this is fixed. It just needed a regeneration process. We just had to do the active regeneration. And now this is fixed. So I'm going to give it back to the customer. I'll tell the customer to keep an eye on it. If the check engine light comes back, he can drive it back to us. But I don't think the check engine light will be back. All it needed is the regeneration process and uh, we just initiated the regeneration and now everything is good to go i will tell the the owner to drive this vehicle every once in a while on the highway so it can do the regeneration by itself so i'm gonna leave this right over here guys i hope you like this video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumb down but if you do you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future if this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.